ask you a question and just ponder this for a moment. Why is it that birthing is so traumatic for a baby? Why is it that a baby that comes into this physical world is crying, comes into the world crying hysterically, not lightly, but hysterically? You ever ask yourself that question? I've never asked myself that question up until recently because I just grew up assuming that it was just part of the process. But it's not when you really think about it. The fact that a, a baby comes into this world and is not crying lightly, but hollering. Shouldn't that tell you something? That a baby comes into this world as being traumatized? By just being here, by just coming out of the womb? And it's screaming? That's traumatic. And you know why that is? Just sharing a perspective here. I believe it's because it's a complete annihilation of awareness. The awareness that is you. That it is captured in this form in this form of innocence, which is a little baby, and is brought into this world without its authority and consent. This system is so sick. The topic of this video is the veil of consciousness disguises the birth trauma and the dynamic of chaos which operates in the universe. This is going to be a very heavy sharing, so brace yourself. But a very important sharing and that we can excavate the underlying pattern that the power control force use in order to manipulate your essence as awareness within this system of consciousness. This exalted system of consciousness in which you can reach higher and higher states of consciousness. Yeah, right. This system is sick. It's insane. It's a mastermind game of insanity disguising itself as normal. And everyone walks around this world thinking it's normal to be here with all this war and revolutions and perpetuated on humanity while the masses sleepwalk through life. This is normal. People consumed by this existence. This is sick. We are in a very sad state of affairs. And as you go down the rabbit hole and you dig deeper and deeper and you come to know more as awareness, you see how truly sick this all is. This system of consciousness that is so exalted and glorified by so many and if they only knew the truth i don't know if they'd die in the midst of their own waking up or they'd go insane this kind of stuff so my disclaimer to you is pace yourself with these sharings if you find it challenging to listen you must use your own discretion the only person i can do this for is me because there's only one dreamer here, and that's me. Deconstruction of consciousness. I am dismantling this system because it's my dream. And I dare to do so because I'm sick and tired of this system. I sound a little heated today, don't I? Well, when there's fire in the blood, what can one do but rest, rest as awareness in one's paradise state and see this system for what it is. This system of consciousness is very much run like a church. However, there's no physical walls per se, but the illusion of the walls are kept from view in the form of major paradigms for the purpose of deceiving you and the masses. But see, the walls are still there, regardless of if they're 
just embedded within the paradigm, with the power control force at the helm. Now, this paradigm that holds this system of consciousness together, which is created by the power control force center, our church leaders allow some views, but not others. This doesn't mean that the other views are wrong. It just means that the current paradigm won't accept them. It only wants you to view one side of the coin. For example, if we take a look at the universe, what is happening in the universe is a dynamic where the male energy is capturing the female energy. Now capture. Capture is extremely important word as far as the understanding of this universe of consciousness at large. The male force takes control of the female force and utilize it for its own end. Therefore, there is a female force and a male force in this unified system of consciousness. The male force is a non-creative force. Hear me out. The male force is a non-creative force. No slight to the males listening, because you also have the female force within you, as do the females have the male force within them. Anyway, back to our article here. The male force is a non-creative force, and it begins with the proton. In order for the proton to continue in this universe of consciousness, where disorder is predominant, the male force proton must capture energy and pull it into itself or else it will lose its strength. Get that? The male force proton must capture the energy of the female force in order for it not to lose its strength. The female force, on the other hand, begins with the electron and takes a different approach to existing within this universe consciousness system. As it is creative and productive and reaches out for bonding and connection. Life is currently built around the carbon atom, if you don't know that, and it is the product of the female force. You see, the male force cannot really assert itself until the female force has laid the foundation and structure. And this is a key point to remember. And why the, we the female force is so suppressed on this physical world system. Now, the power control force know this and why they are using the male force as part of their control system and defines reality for us in our artificial world through the system of consciousness. So, this is why the male force are in control and define reality for us in our artificial world through the system of consciousness. The female force is largely being used as the fuel for the male machine or a natural system which is embedded within the female natural structure we call Earth. This is why the female energy has been suppressed in our physical world for millennia and why humanity is always in an endless struggle for balance of male and female energy whether they realize it or not but this struggle is really an internal struggle it's not external in that change happens first internally which the power control force know as well however through massive manipulation they distort the truth from you while destroying the external artificial physical world in order to keep you 
traumatized, disillusioned, and paranoid, always focused on the Earth's destruction disguise as climate change et al. Etc. Etc. Which is why we struggle to create balance externally and why we never seem to be able to change this imposed paradigm. See? You're actually living in a cult system, believe it or not. Yeah, it's a cult. And everyone's bought into it. A cult with no physical walls. And extends the entire universe. We need to keep in mind that the forces acting on human beings are the same forces operating throughout this universe, consciousness system, and the power control force don't want you to know or see this dynamic playing out on the physical world stage, as the power control force depend on your ignorance of real truth of this underlying dynamic, as this underlying dynamic allows them to maintain their current power structures and paradigms while endlessly perpetuating the dynamic order out of chaos. Yes, the power control force know that if these patterns of human behavior would be revealed to you or made clearer and understood by the masses, that would unravel the whole structure upon which human beings have been used to construct this artificial physical world system for the power control force over the past few thousand years. Only a few thousand years. This is why the power control force spend endless time and effort. Endless time and effort to distract humanity because if you don't see the pattern playing out, then they can continue along with the game that is being played on everyone so that everyone willingly participates in their game whether they realize it or not with the knowledge of this dynamic that plays out in the universe that is the male force capturing the female force the power control force also understand the importance of love as a force within and among human beings and that the mother-child relationship is the ultimate holding together of human relationships. It is the mother who embodies an attitude towards safety, well-being, and the future of her child and children. This is also the basic attitude within our physical world system. The power control force also know that the mother-child relationship is the foundation of life. Therefore, the power control force work endlessly to destroy this relationship, and we do not have to look any further than the trauma of birth for the basic underlying pattern operating throughout our physical world system, whereby allowing us to identify this underlying theme being played out through the narratives and scripts the power control force feed humanity endlessly through the media will allow us to what? Deconstruct consciousness. Yes, our time has come as awareness, awareness which is what? The ultimate reality. The power control force mode of operandi is designed to keep humanity continuously traumatized through an endless cycle of suffering, death, and rebirth rituals, thus masking birth as an initiation ritual into this physical world system. How about that? Again, all designed to keep humanity in a perpetual state of trauma with infantile attachment needs never being able to be met due to the broken mother-child bond. Hear me out. Broken, the mother-child bond. This cycle of abuse keeps humanity dependent on the physical world system, which is why the power control force must create narratives and stories in order to reinforce what is called the fetal drama, which is the ma matrix into which all later childhood experiences create imprints, which shape 
all adult life experiences as their inner child works over the basic questions posted by its experience of being in the womb. Get that. Take that to the bank. That's why relationships don't work in this system. That's why people just put up and shut up. That's why people can't get along in this physical world system. It's not designed for people to get along. Wake up, people. And that through the act of humanity, re-experiencing the trauma of birth endlessly in a specific repetition, compulsions, very similar to imprinting in the lower animals as no psychic apparatus is as open to trauma as that of a helpless fetus. No repetition is as strong as that which results from the imprinting of the fetal drama and the repeated feelings of asphyxiation, blood pollution and cleansing, climaxed by a cataclysmic battle and a liberation through a painful birth process. Hear me out, people. This is nothing, absolutely nothing to do with awareness. The awareness that is you. Yet, as in the womb, the original trauma birth is repeated in the traumatic rituals of suffering and rebirth. Repeated over and over and over again. Whether in yearly New Year's sufferings and rebirth or Easter rituals of suffering, death and resurrection. As in Christian groups, every major life event therefore precipitates precipitates a suffering and rebirth ritual, birth, puberty, marriage, and death. That's why I never celebrate birthdays. Birthdays are simply a ritual you're celebrating every year. You're engaging in a death program. Every year you celebrate your death, you're celebrating you're traumatization into this system every year. You're celebrating how traumatized you were coming into this system. It's a subliminal, but it's real. It's the real deal, people. We can see that paradigms are set up to benefit who? Those in control. And with the universe operating on the basic premise of chaos, we now know and we now have a better understanding as to why the unnatural artificial world system is built on its slogan of order out of chaos. Because in truth, it means our disorder is order in the universe and our order is disorder in the universe. So we can see how this system of consciousness that we are so exalted, exalted and esteemed by stays in balance and why the power control force want to keep this dynamic from you, your view so they can endlessly play games on humanity and you all for the purpose of power and control or order out of chaos. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. It's truly a very powerful time. You can join me on Facebook, Karis, K-E-R-R-A-C-E, Alexander, subscribe to the channel. I put a copy of this article in my blog post in the description. I thank you so much for being here. It truly is a glorious time.